Hi everybody. Okay, so what I'm doing today is I'm going to be doing a pour over the base of a we call it a cold cold drink bottle. I think overseas it's a soda bottle. Right now what I'm doing is I'm just spreading out my black paint which has been thinned with water. No um, pouring medium or anything else added, just water. Uh, there are air bubbles in this, but I'm not too phased about the air bubbles because they are either going to be pushed out once I start pouring the other paint over the bottom of the bottle. That's the soda bottle or cool drink bottle. So those air bubbles will either be pushed out or popped when I put the serviette on or they'll just pop on their own. And you know what? I'm trying to create cells, so if nothing else, they will add to the cells. Right, you can see my mixture here is quite fluid. And all this is, is pouring medium. I need to apologize for the camera. I don't, I think I must have touched it, the, the lens with something before I started the video. It does get better right at the end. Um, so what I was saying is about the consistency and all I've added is pouring medium. The consistency is quite fluid because I want it to pour down. You can see it's quite fluid down the bottle. The background is almost the same consistency as what is in those cups. Alright, so I think for this um, technique, but in particular, you need quite a few layers. And you'll understand why at the end. Alright, so there's no silicone involved here. Also, my, cup, my canvas is not level. You'll see just now, as I keep pouring, where it starts pulling to, the paint starts pulling to the one side. I'm just adding a little bit of white and just keep doing this until you feel like you've done enough. My, my advice with this is just don't overthink too much. Now I'm, pour, I'm moving it around because I can see that it's pulling to the one side. Okay. And just keep pouring. Yeah, the, the bottle has actually moved. That's why it's, I don't know if you saw that when it moved. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm just lifting it and moving it because I want... Oh, I'm such a nana. Now that I'm looking at it, it's pouring in the same place. It's going to be pouring. I wanted to try and get those, the edges of the bottle to go where the marks are, the black lines. Funny how you see things, the mistakes you make once you're recording and you re you're editing. Oh, what a silly billy. Okay, I'm just adding in a little, little bit of black. Okay, now I've realized, so I'm moving that where I'm wanting those to pour, where I want the next layer to go. I must admit, I really like this painting. I do put it on a spinner after it's done. I really like this painting, but when it dried, I didn't put it level. And I'm kicking myself because I knew that the table that it was on and the place where I had put it was not level. And I don't understand why I didn't level it up. So I actually lost a lot of this. There, I'm, you can see that's pulling to the right um, corner. And I actually put a cup under here. I don't know if you can see. I put another cup under there. So this is just a 10 inch by 10 inch or 250 by 250 mil canvas. So I'm actually doing this for as part of a workshop that I'm wanting to do. I'm wanting to do three flowers, three different techniques to create flowers. So that's a workshop that I have coming up and I also I'm just going to well, I wanted to do this for a YouTube video, tutorial video as well. Okay, you can see that it's kind of gone 
it's not perfect. And that is because um, of the canvas being uneven. It's so important to get that canvas level. But it still turned out well. It turned out as a good painting, so I'm not too upset about it. You'll see at the end, if you, ho if you hang on to the end, or go through to the end, you'll see the painting when it's finished. So just trying to define those petals. Okay, so what I've done here is just lightly spritzed this. It's um, it's not a serviette, it's actually a Carlton roll, which is a bit thicker than a serviette. So I've lightly spritzed it, spritzed it with uh, water. You want it to be flat, you don't want any air bubbles in there, because if there's any air bubbles, it's the paper will not grip that paint. So you'll get, it won't adhere to the paint, so you'll get air bubbles actually on the paint, if that makes sense. So now, the trick with this is just corner to corner, and try and keep it even. Okay, then like corner to corner. Okay, and then just pick it up. I'm just defining the centre there. So what I was doing here was I was going to go back in. Can you see what I meant about the air bubbles? So that you, all those air bubbles come out. So you lose those air bubbles. So I know a lot of people pop them with a heat gun. I don't see the necessity for it. I'm not too phased about um, air bubbles unless I'm trying not to get air bubbles, if that makes sense. But the whole thing with pouring, with this type of art, is that you want those cells. Okay, so I'm just trying to get a little bit, um, everything all even around the edges. Oh, I was going to go and do, yes, I was going to go and do those petals, but I actually just, I stopped because I put this on the spinner. A spinner's a wonderful thing. Honestly, it's like, it just works so well. It changes your whole painting. You'll see what I mean with just now. So what I've used here is a bright magenta, silver, white, and then a little bit of black, and obviously black on the background. Okay, so doing a spin. Just see how it opens up that whole painting. That makes such a difference to have that spinner. I really, really like this. Oh, now I've just suddenly realized that there's something on the camera that I've on the lens that I touched. I'm bringing you in for a close-up. I'm actually sorry that I went in with the heat gun because I quite liked it as it was before. That's, that's grey as silver, so when it dries, it's going to really, really shine. I really did like this painting before I messed it up and left it overnight on an uneven surface. That's very pretty.